In this quick video, we'll be talking about some considerations before you convert QuickBooks desktop files to QuickBooks Online. My name is Michelle Long. I am a CPA and the owner of Long for Success, the author of five different books. You can check those out on Amazon. Co-host of the award-winning Ultimate Accounting VCon. Love to have you join us for that next July. Uh, LinkedIn group with over 56,000 members. Love to have you join us for that. As well as an international speaker for Intuit. I've had the privilege of going across the U.S. and Canada, as well as over to Australia and London teaching accountants and bookkeepers about QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks um, all over the world, literally. So glad to have you with me today. So let's talk about some considerations before you convert. First of all, there are some limitations on importing uh, into QuickBooks Online. Your file size, that needs to be less than 350,000 targets. You can hit the F2 key to check that. So in QuickBooks, I'm in QuickBooks. If I hit F2, it will pull up the product information window. And in there, I can see my total targets. That number needs to be less than 350,000. Um, so make sure that you check that out. Also, you only can import within the first 60 days of your QuickBooks Online subscription. So once you subscribe to QBO, you've got 60 days to import the desktop data up into the QBO. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, prior to importing your data, you want to go through and condense that data. You want to clean up the data. If you've got five, ten years worth of data in a desktop file, you don't necessarily want to upload and convert all that to QuickBooks Online. Remember the old garbage in, garbage out? We don't want to do that. You, what you want to do is keep that data, keep the historical information available in the desktop file so you can refer to it as needed or if you're ever audited, you've still got the detail available. So you keep a file available. But then and in the US version, you can use the condense feature. Go through under File Utilities Condense and just keep about the last year or so of the data so that you're not uploading everything. And also, when you go through that condense feature, it will clean up your list for you. So if you have customers or vendors that you don't use anymore then, and you've made them inactive, it will once you condense the data, it will clean them up and get those off your list so that you're not importing all those old inactive customers and vendors up into the QuickBooks Online. Because if you've got a customer that's inactive in the desktop version, when you upload them, they're active again. So then you'd have to go through manually one by one and make them inactive. So you want to clean these things up before you convert the data to the cloud. Plus, you don't need that much data. So just keep about the last year or so and convert that. Then also, you might even consider what's the condition of the data in the QuickBooks desktop file. Is it in good shape? Do you need to redo some things? You may want to consider importing the lists only. Take the desktop file, export the customers and the vendors, the chart of accounts, the products and services, or the items list. Export those lists to Excel. Clean them up in Excel. Get rid of the old customers, the old vendors. Delete those and only upload the good stuff and import the, the lists into QBO. And keep in mind, if you need to do over, let's say you forgot to clean it up and you converted the data, within the first 60 days of your subscription, you can purge the data. And what that will do is it will literally purge everything. It's like a brand new subscription for you. So be very careful before you do that because there is no undo. It will get rid of everything, all transactions, all lists, all everything. Um, so keep that in mind. To purge the data, you change the URL from the home page to purge company. And then it will ask if you're sure. And again, be very careful because um, there's no undo on that. So when you're, you're also ready to convert, something else to keep in mind is um, some data is not imported. And this is where it's very important to go through and really look at the details. Now, if you have a service-based business, and let's say you know, you're know you not using that many features, you're primarily doing invoicing and, and things like that, um, then you may be able to convert your data without any problems. But for some people, some data is not imported, and this is going to create some problems or issues or just things to be aware of, additional work that you need to do, such as payroll or the sales tax items and agencies, inventory, memorized transactions you'd need to re-enter those as recurring transactions, price levels or budgets, your sales form templates, um, as well as the, the types on customers and vendors and things like that. There's full details as the, at those two URLs down there at the bottom. Um, there's full details, a lot more than's listed here on what does and does not convert and things like that, as well as I'm going to be covering this in an hour-long webinar. Um, 
to help you to learn a little bit more about that. So I would encourage you to join me for that. Um, there's a webinar, um, Converting to QuickBooks Online, What to Expect. And I'll be going over in detail, or a lot more detail, um, you know, things to consider, as well as reports to run to kind of check how everything converted and if things are okay and stuff like that. So when you're actually ready to convert that data file, it's really pretty easy. It, either when you're going through the little company setup and setting up a new subscription, it will ask if you want to convert data, or if you've already set up your subscription, if you click on the gear up here under tools, you'll notice import data. That's where you can import those lists, your chart of accounts, your customers, your vendors or suppliers, and your products and services or your items list. You can import your list, but here's where you click on import desktop data. Um, so you can go through here and do this and it's pretty quick and easy. It will ask what version of QuickBooks you're using, 2012 or newer or 2011 and older, and it will give you the information on what to do. But within QuickBooks then, you're going to come out here in the QuickBooks file and you're going to click on company export the company file to QBO. And this is on QuickBooks 2012 or newer. Um, so it's pretty automated. And this works in the US and Canada. This doesn't work in other countries. I know um, over in the UK and in Australia, they have a third party that will convert that file for you. So go to the QuickBooks website and check that out. Um, but again, take into consideration some of these things before you start converting that data. And again, join me for this webinar that's coming up in April where we're going to go a lot more in depth on that. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube as well as my blog. And uh, then when you have some questions or need additional resources, check out the LinkedIn group or the Intuit Community Forum. Those are great resources for you. Thank you for watching.